Greetings, adventures. This is Lorne, and the uh, Anime Japan Damachi panel just finished airing, and uh, I'm going to show you some of my uh, reactions, my favorite clips of my reactions to the uh, to the stream, because showing the entire thing will be kind of dumb, because there are some uh, slow moments in that stream, especially the moments uh, where everyone's just talking in Japanese, and I have no idea what's going on, but, you know, uh, I got to see my favorite voice actor, Matsuoka san the voice of Bell. But as you can see right now, this is the uh, key visual for Season 2 of Don Machi Season 2. And uh, they got that red 2 in there, the nice uh, fresh logo right there. And of course, in the key visual, you see the characters Ryu, Mikoto, Lily, Wealth, Bell, and Hestia. And to those of you that have read the novels that are covering uh, at least Volume 6 and 7, you'll notice a lot of things in the PV and especially this key visual which is a reference to volume 6 which will obviously be the opening episode to season 2 but without further ado guys I will do a uh, slower look at the actual PV itself after you see my initial reaction to some of the stuff. Familia Mithu! I can read that! <laughs> now without having the romanization in front of me let me try to recite Damachi's Japanese name from memory. Dungeon ni dai wo motomero no ba machi ga teru daru ka. I think I might I might have missed a word there. That's probably what it is. Eh, minasama, ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou. Arigatou gozaimasu. What is that shirt? What is that shirt? <laughs> oh, Matsuoka san. Matsuoka san! Yeah! My guy! Put all the girls together. <laughs> all the girls are together. Matsuoka is by himself, as always. Oh, he's wearing glasses. Wow. Oh, he's copping. Oh no. Making him scream Firebolt too much. Is he sick? He sounds sick. <laughs> <laughs> just cut. You gotta, gotta calm down. Just, just seeing the logo. Oh my God, Ruben Nobro too. Oh. Oh. It's weird. Like we, we, we knew that season two was happening, and this is the stage show for it. But just for some reason, is seeing the logo makes me feel so happy. Now, JC staff, don't let me down. You, you got me a good logo. <laughs> You got me a good logo at least. I, I love how to keep the familiar myth line at all times in the uh, in the graphics because the familiar myth is the original name for the story that Amori Sensei uh, made uh, before it got uh, officially published. Then they gave it a more uh, attractive name, even though I think familiar myth is a better name than is it wrong to check with girls in the dungeon, but maybe that's just me. And these are the channels that. Uh, that much of season two will be premiering on. Not that that means anything to us because Sentai Filmworks will probably have the license and it will be distributed by Crunchyroll and be on high dive as well. Oh! Yes! This is. This is that! <laughs> this is that! This is that! This is that! I can't say what it is because of you anime only people, but this is that! I heard PV and you. Oh my god. Yeah, I want to see the PV, but no delay. Dozo. Oh god, here we go. Two. I swear, if this stream stutters. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Oh. There's him. There's that guy! <laughs> no spoilers! There's him, there's that guy! There's those two! Well, I get to see what's looking in anime form. There's volume 7. Oh! Oh! That look! Okay, we've seen uh, scenes from 6 and 7. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, I gotta watch this again later. Oh my. 
<laughs> why, why does Matsuka look so interesting? What is that? Oh no. It's a new Hestia, guys. A new Hestia for time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I knew. Oh my god. Masoka, get better. You're sick. I told ya. They're making him scream fireball too much. <laughs> Matsoka's... Matsoka's trying... Oh, the bow. Matsoka's trying as hard as to get off the stage. It's like, I'm done guys, I'm sick. Gotta go home. Now I apologize that reaction probably seemed very lackluster for you guys. But believe me, I wanted to react harder than that, but I was holding myself back because I didn't want to spoil anything. Like, I don't want to say names. I don't want to say anything that I'm excited to see because I've read the novels before. So I was holding myself back a bit, but we're going to rewatch the trailer again uh, where I get to actually pause during some of the scenes so I can digest a bit more on uh, what's actually happening uh, in these uh, trailers. And I'll do my best not to spoil anything for uh, any of you anime only people. But guys, just seeing this for the first time made me so, so happy because it's going to start off one of my favorite volumes being animated, which is volume six. And, well, we'll see. This, this squad right here, this, this is just so exciting to see. I'm, I'm not going to say why, but this, this squad right here makes me very, very happy. Right here, uh, you have Apollo and then Cassandra on the left and Daphne on the right. Uh, these are going to be, of course, new characters that are appearing, and they're all part of Apollo's Familia, and that's really all I'm going to say here. But the scene in question that's being adapted right here is going to be really, really awesome to see if it's done correctly. JC staff, please do this part justice, because this is one of my favorite moments in the novel, because it just, it just feels so good inside. You feel so good inside. You feel really good for Belle, too. And here's, here's that punk face. I'll, I'll tell you right now, guys, this guy's very punchable face. And that's, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. There's those two again. And here's a character that's going to show up in volume seven. And she is a very fun character. Uh, her, her scenes are going to be really, really fun to watch. Be on the lookout for that. Now, uh, just just uh, from this framing right here, well, you can you can see or get a clue as to what kind of location this is in Rario, but that's really all I'm going to say before I spoil anything. And, uh, oh, we get to see more Amazon characters here, and I'm really happy to see the character on the right here because of a recent Sword of Rotoria volume that was released, Volume 8, because uh, she takes a prominent role in that. And here is that, that fateful meeting. This is a character a lot of people are excited to see. Uh, Haruhime, I guess I should say, because they announced her name during the stream. But uh, she is a fan favorite among the uh, people that read the light novel. So it's really cool to see her. And I like this mysterious vibe she's uh, giving right now. And this right here, <laughs> this is probably my favorite part of the promotional video, and it totally doesn't have anything to do with the fact that Ryu is my favorite character, and those of you that are watching this for the first time, not knowing anything about what happens in Volume 6, are probably wondering, what the heck is going on here? Why is Ryu holding two swords? Why is she dual wielding? She has two swords in her hand, her own wooden sword, and her two uh, small short swords. She's... <laughs> She is uh, weaponized. She's ready for combat. What's going on? But uh, this right here, if if they animate this part well, I'll be so, so happy with JC staff because this part, whoo, this part's great. I can't wait. And here's the end of the PV. Whew. Oh, man. But yeah, guys. That was a promotional video. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you haven't seen it yet. 
but oh man i'm i'm so happy uh right now i'm getting a lot of positive vibes uh with vibes seen so far into pv just just seeing these characters animated seeing them in an anime form uh adapted from volume six and seven makes you really really happy they haven't announced how many episodes that the season two is going to be i still think it's going to be probably one core meaning like 12 or 13 episodes because even though season two ending movie was announced a year ago more than a year ago uh, I'd be very, very worried uh, if this was more than uh, one core because JC Staff is just doing so many anime projects right now. And I, I mention it all the time, anytime I talk about Dalmachi Season 2, how I'm worried about uh, JC Staff handling so many different anime at the same time. Like earlier, they uh, showed a promotional video for a certain scientific accelerator, which is a spinoff of the Magical Index series that's uh, currently uh, ongoing right now. And... Uh, Accelerator was announced in the fall, I believe, and it's ready to getting a PV. So I don't know what's going on with JC staff, but hopefully they put the right people in place and have been working on season two of Damachi uh, for quite a while now. So hopefully we get a solid adaptation of it. We've only seen scenes uh, in this PV from volumes six and seven. And my thought process was that if season two was only one core, that it would cover volume six through eight. And that would probably uh, be good for pacing. But if it's just six and seven, that would, that would exceed my uh, expectations of what JC Staff's gonna, uh, how they're gonna adapt this. Because if it's just six and seven, I think it's gonna be a very good adaptation of the source material. But we'll just have to see how long the anime really is going to be, and uh, how much content they're going to cover. Because it's not gonna show everything in the PEV. But uh, if it's just six and seven, that's fine by me. That just means there's gonna be a lot of time spent on like, uh, the minute details in six and seven, which is something. That wasn't really done in the first season of Damachi, nor uh, the adaptation of Sword of Retoria I always uh, talk bad about because I, I don't like it. I think the Sword of Retoria light novels are so much better than what the adaptation makes them look like, but I digress. But anyway guys, that was the Season 2 promotional video. I hope you guys are excited to see it, as excited as I am to see it, because the content that it covers... Uh, Primarily Volume 6, which is one of my favorite volumes in the series. It's going to be very exciting to watch and see. And it's going to uh, release uh, this July. And I can't wait for when that happens. But I do think you anime-only people out there are going to enjoy uh, this season very, very much. And uh, I do plan on releasing uh, Season 1 comparison videos with the uh, first five light novels. And uh, what I plan to do is uh, make a video uh, for each light novel that was adapted. So... Let's say uh, I make a video about Volume 1 of Damachi. That's going to cover uh, all the differences uh, between the episodes that are covered with Volume 1. If you don't play the Damachi uh, mobile game, Damachi Moria Freeze or Dammo, I highly suggest that you try to look up a video about the Quest Quest uh, story event that happened in the game because that actually adapts the Quest Quest short story that was in Volume 4 that was skipped over in the anime and it gives a lot of context as to who Naza is like she appeared briefly in a uh, season one of the anime you probably saw her on screen for a total of 20 seconds that she didn't say a single word so definitely uh, try to watch that uh, if you haven't seen that content already or just read the light novels uh, that also works too because the light novels are of course the source material and oh my lord they are they are amazing especially at the point where we are now with volume 13 like Damachi has changed so much it's grown so much and it's just super exciting and hopefully Damachi gets uh, more adaptations beyond the season two. Like if we get a season three, it's going to be pretty, pretty hype. But we got to stay back down on earth. Uh, let's be excited for season two. And I hope you guys are excited. Uh, comment below on what you're excited to see. Just make sure not to spoil any content that's going to be covered in season two if you read the light novels before. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow up on what I'm doing, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. And as always, continue enjoying your time venturing in Rario and the Dungeon. This is Lorne, signing out.